two pounds, undefeated in 12 contests as a professional, from Pembroke Golf. A welcome to Scott the Hammer Gammon. And he's playing across from the blue corner, where the white trunks waiting at 16 stone, 10 pounds. From the Isle of Dogs, he's undefeated. A welcome to Mickey Steele. Yes, and what a mouth-watering prospect this one is. Uh, two undefeated British heavyweights against each other, which, as far as I'm aware, is the first time uh, since uh, Billy Walker fought Johnny Prescott back in the early 60s. Six three-minute rounds this one. Scott Cameron undefeated in 12, 11 wins and one draw. Mickey Steed's undefeated in four. Both are big punches, and both are up for this. They both think they can win. But someone's O has got to go, barring, of course, the draw. Now, interestingly, uh, Scott Gamera has uh, been lined up for an April uh, fight with Mark Krentz and eliminated for the British Heavyweight Championship, so he won't want to lose this. This would be a real setback if he were. The two big lads, two big punches, but one thing sets these two men apart, and that is the form of uh, Paul King. Now, Mickey Steeds beat Paul King on a wafer-thin decision, but Scott Gamera stopped King in three rounds. Um, he's from Pembroke Dock in uh, West Wales, and uh, he's a big lad and apparently and i was delighted to be reminded by one of his team i actually filmed scott when he was a youngster in the uh, i think it was the nabc championships um more years ago than i care to remember so mickey steeds in a long white shorts and uh he's a pretty fair puncher himself um as his record would indicate although he's only stopped two pros i saw him make his debut against slick miller and uh took some pretty hefty shots from Slick, I've got to say, and Slick is a very good banger. Nice left hook there from Steeds. And uh, over six three-minute rounds, who knows? Again, a good stiff jab there from Mickey. Big moment this for Mickey Steeds, and he knows it. Neither of these two men have shied away from this particular challenge. And that's uh, so rare in today's boxing world. Nice to see. Once again, a little counter-punching left hook there from Steeds. Landing with the inside of the glove, though. Referee for this one is uh, Jeffrey Hines. And Steve's looking very positive in these early stages. Uh, counter punching nicely. And as I say, he does. Uh, both of these lads possess a fair degree of power between them. Um, I think the smart money would be on Scott Gamma in this particular contest because of his experience and his uh, success. Well, all right, getting through there from Mickey Steeds. And uh, Gamma's really had some terrific wins. Beat to the likes of uh, Roman Bugai, who was once touted as a, as a heavyweight prospect. So nice, fast hands here from Mickey Steeds, which is, of course is a major asset, especially to a heavyweight. And uh, Scott Gamma not getting off the best of starts here. Once again, good counter punching from Mickey Steeds. And the Gamma, well, not, not too keen to close the gap here. And don't forget, Wales has produced some terrific fighters over the years. And the Gamma hoping to follow in their footsteps, of course. But a slightly nervous start here for Scott. As I say, it would be a terrible setback for Gamma if he were to lose this to Mickey Steeds, because I suspect Mickey Steeds would take his place against Mark Krentz in that uh, British title eliminator. But it's early days. Well, a couple of little punches there from Gamma being backed up, but still landed a couple. Well, beginning to warm up towards the end of this opening session. But Steeds, as I say, I was telling to both these men beforehand, and they were both completely up for this. So the bell ends round one, and a decent start there for Mickey Steeds, who looks like he's won the first round.
corners, 10 seconds. Into the second round we go. So Mickey Steeze then winning by 10-9 uh, at this stage. But as I say, it's early days. Can he keep it up? That's the question. What has Gamma got left in store? And it is a valid question here. Scott Gamma showed towards the end of round one that he can up the pace. And he did. But uh, it's an interesting style, this, from Mickey Steeze. He's, he's, going f he's a forward counterpuncher, if you like. Um, in this particular contest. Um, he's, he's going forward here and trying to make Gamma lead, or at least do something, and then try and capitalise on any mistakes that Scott may make. Any openings he may leave. But there's no doubt about it, Gamma really does look like a pretty heavy-handed individual, and if he were to land cleanly, who knows what would happen. I do know that Mickey Steed's got a lot of confidence for a youngster. More of that, uh, hopefully, in a moment. In fact, more of that on both of these in a minute. Two undefeated heavyweights. Someone's O has got to go. And Steve's showing very fast hands, although that left hook whizzed past the chin. And uh, they're with a good bunch, these two lads. Nice right cross there from Gamma. So the main event here at the Metropole in Brighton, care of the sea of Joey Pyle and Johnny Essex. Oh, well, little left hook landing again from Gamma. Just dropped the left shoulder there and popped it in. So more positive round this then for Scott. Could be winning this one at the moment. And it's an interesting change in, uh, in tactics here because Gamma is going forward much more regularly in this second round. Steve's there, not afraid to, uh, to blaze away downstairs. Close round. I think Scott has just got the edge. Just like Steeds had the edge in the opener. Well, nice little dip to shoulder left hook again from Scott. And Mickey, oh, Mickey lands a lovely left hook there on the inside, but it looks like Scott Gamma can take those shots okay at this stage. And of course, when heavyweights hit you, anything can happen. When heavy, heavyweights hit heavyweights, anything can happen. There's the end of round two, and uh, Gamma for me, one apiece then, two gone, four to go. So uh, John Rooney and uh, Mark Seltzer working with uh, Mickey Steeds, and I, they, they said I would never remember their names and they're absolutely right, but a lovely bunch of fellas in the Welsh corner. Round three. And there's a lot of anticipation here. As I say, I've been thoroughly looking forward to this one ever since I knew it was on. As uh, so we come up to the third round, Mickey Steeds in action against Scott Gamma. Gamma in the Welsh colours. Steeds from the Isle of Dogs. So, Steeds won the opener, Gamma won the second, for me anyway. And this is uh, much more of a boxing match, I think, than most people would have anticipated. Um, because these two lads have got a big punching reputation, um, they might have expected a bit more of a blaze. But it's quite a tactical battle at the moment. Well, looks like Scott got the better of that. Just. 
these, so they're still showing good hand speed. And it really is a rare sight to see two uh, undefeated heavyweights against each other. I know it's early days for Mickey Steeds, but uh, he hasn't shirked this opportunity. He might be staying his first loss, though. Depending, of course, how this one develops. Well, it gets through there, left, right. Left hook uh, missed, but the right got through again. And a little left hook there from Gamma. And again. Right over the top from Gamma, left hook. Well, honours even again here in round three. And Gamma does put quite a lot behind that drop left shoulder. And comes up again, lands on right to the head. Well, first clinch of the fight. Gamma shrugs him off. And goes to work. But I tell you what, Gamma will know he's been hit if Steeds does connect properly. Well, Gamma getting the better of the exchanges now in this third round. Oh, lovely left hook there from Steeds. Took a right though, and again. Beautiful body punches there from Scott Gamma, and I've got to say, Steve's took them well. Very fast hands, these two men. Well, I've got to say that uh, I think these two will figure prominently in the British heavyweight scene in uh, time to come. As I say, I think the smart money was on Scott Gamma prior to this, as he lands another left hook. It's been a long time since I've seen Gamma in action. The only previous time was as an amateur. Never seen him as a pro as the bell ends round three and a decent round there for Scott Gamma. One point in front. Twenty-nine twenty-eight and in Gamma's favour. And Scott Gamma, twenty-eight years of age, never wins one draw against the Polish Southpaw. And uh, slated to fight Mark Krentz on the 5th of April, so he won't want to make a mistake here. And Mickey Steeds, he's just 21 years of age now from the Isle of Dogs. As I say, four wins, uh, two by knockout. And one of them was over Luke Simkin in three rounds, which is very, very good form. Also been sparring with the uh, mighty Joe Young and uh, thinks that's done in the world of good. And he may well be right. Joe Young's a big, powerful fella. Corners, 10 seconds. Give it Halfway point then, round four, 29-28 Scott Gamma for me, but uh, not too late here for Steve to make up that deficit by any means. And these two almost at times a mirror image of each other, aren't they? Fast hands, left hookers, right crosses. long look there at these two men and uh, Scott Gamma is a decent boxer there's no doubt about that as too is Mickey Steeds no doubt about it either Steeds lands a right but takes one back slightly more variety about uh, Gamma's work I don't think Mickey's landed too many body shots so far Powerful punches, those. And uh, basically, just a wee bit too busy for Mickey Steeds here. Steeds lands a left hook. Ooh, that would have been interesting. Caught that on the uh, left glove. Well, Mickey needs to win this one, otherwise, uh, Gamma will be two up with two to play. 
and life will be difficult. Once again, Steve's there, just gets over with a left hook. Close round this. And I think this is the first time, well, maybe not actually, that uh, Steve has done three minute rounds. Certainly not the first time for, uh, for Scott Gamma. Second clinch of the fight. And it's still a fascinating match, this. with a couple of headshots. Well, the end of a very close uh, fourth round between these two men. And I tell you what, it's, it's hard to call that anything, but level, really. I'll tell you, it's good technology, isn't it, Mr. Arnold? Five years ago, like the early 90s, and 80s, we've got a bit of technology. There when you're ready, kid. All right, cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Well done, Justin. Well, I'm just going to get my first one, and I'll flex it. Thanks a lot. It's around five we go then the penultimate round 39 38 on my card for gamma at this point steeds then needs the next two for a win gamma needs one of them Ooh, nice start to round five from mickey steeds Well, it causes of Mickey Trusty Steeds and uh, Scott the Hammer Gamma. Right over the top from Scott. Trying to hook off the jab but missed. Well, both lads once again having their moments in this round. And it has been a pretty close fight, actually, at times. Big miss there again from Scott. Well, right hand left hook again from Steeds. And I think the one, yeah, there's only one thing really that Steeds lacks in this particular contest, and that's experience. And of course, the confidence that goes with it, which is what uh, Gamma has. Good short game here for Gamma. Well, once again, honours are around about even in this round. Yes, I think for a big man, it's, uh, it's been quite surprising that Gamma has had uh, this kind of success on the inside. Nice left hook again from Steeds. And uh, Scott's got a good chin, no doubt about that. But then again, so too is Mickey Steeds. Well, a little combination there of punches from uh, Gamma. Once again, a very close round between these two men. And it's a tribute, really, to, uh, to Steeds' ability. Nice left hook on the inside there from Mickey Steeds. To be giving a man with this kind of experience and success a very good fight. Well, 
Well, once again, a little combination there from Steeds. And again, Mickey Steeds working away. Not just busy enough. And, well, the end of another very, very close round. And I'm low to give that to either of them. I'm going to call that one another level round. round for a draw on my card I've still got Scott Gamera point in front uh, and it's been a fascinating contest this one and uh, this is the kind of round when they both know it's incredibly close and still there for the taking and uh, they'll both be working as hard as they possibly can in this round but I th as I say Steve's needs to impress here I think Mickey Steve is tired somewhat Just overreaching slightly there with his punches. Although no, the jab was good. And there is a possibility that Scott thinks he's probably a round or, or a couple of rounds in front and doesn't want to squander the lead. Um, but of course, you can't really take that for, for, for granted in a game like this. I say game, it's not a game, is it? This is real life. And that counter punching left hook from Mickey Steeds. It's a, one, a wee bit one sided Mickey at times. Uh, more left hook than uh, right hand. Needs to develop the pair. Oh, oh lovely left hook there. Yeah, double left hook, in fact, from Scott Gamma. Steeds comes back at him, though. Well, we're around about halfway through this round now. Left hook again from Steeds. Well, will Steeds go out as a good loser? Will the referee score at level? Or will it go in favour of the Welshman, Scott Gamma? I'll tell you what, however way you look at it, it's been a close one, this. Well, there is a chance that Gamma could get this by a two-point margin, I think. See, he's just lacking confidence over the home stretch. Got a nosebleed as well. Not much to worry about. Both earned each other's respect here, no doubt about that. And they could meet again, these two lads, down the line. Well, and there's the final bell. Where is it going to go? Gamma for me. Yep, and for Geoffrey Hines. So first defeat then for Mickey Steeds, and he will not be happy about that. And his fifth outing, because he really was w really up for this, but Gamma has got it, I believe, by 59-57. And, uh, well, the referee may have had it a bit clearer than I did, but uh, Mickey Steeds there completely gutted by that. He's worked hard as well. <laughs> 